Try, that's wonderful. Or if your heart was burdened with shame and guilt, and suddenly you're free, that's wonderful. And God says, call unto me, and I will show you something wonderful. Jesus listened. And then Jesus loved. He said to the man, what do you want me to do for you? Today, Jesus would say, you want to know what I've done for you? You know, God has only done something for every person. Many people don't know that. They don't know that, so their, their minds are blind and their, they don't see it. Jesus has already done something. Number one, he took away the spiritual darkness that made people think that God is someone God is not. You know, people think that God is big. He's angry. He's like the great policeman in the sky. And he's looking for you with a microscope to find something wrong with you. But my friend, the message of the gospel is clear. God is a good God. God is good. And he loves you. He's for you. He's not against you. And so people thought, oh God, God is against you. And then Jesus said, no, 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 look at me. If you see me, you see God. You know what you're saying today? I listen to a Christian preacher. I don't know if I can call him Christian, but he claims to be a Christian. You know that bridge that collapsed in Baltimore? Did you see that on TV? Yes. Yeah. Well, this preacher was saying, that was the law. I said, what? Huh? I thought maybe it was the captain on the boat. Or maybe it was. I said, that was the law. What a terrible thing. You know, we had an eclipse. Did you get that on the 